see that? We see that. Then let's talk about that. All right. Does a cow have a head? Yes, a cow has a head. What is a head for? Mooing. Chewing. Keep thinking. Drinking. That's what a head's for. And what are its legs for? To walk through the meadow and hold up its head. Oh, that's what legs are for. Very good. Very good. And what is a tail for? Tail for, tail for, what is a tail for? That's what I asked. Cows have tails. Cows have tails. What is a tail for? Tell us what a tail's for. Horses have tails. Horses have tails. What is a tail for? Tell us what a tail's for. Birds have tails. Tell us what a tail's for. Fish have tails. Tell us what a tail's for. Snakes have tails. Lizards have tails. Please, oh, please, won't you tell us what a tail's for? Fat tails. Flat tails. Long tails. Strong tails. Furry. Feathery. Hairy. Woolly. Tails and tails and tails and tails, all shapes and sizes and colors. Say, would you like to know what tails are for? Yes! Hooray! I knew you would. All right, let's start. You'll see that you're really very smart. We'll think about tails. 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 You'll discover for yourselves what I already know. There are so many uses for animal tails. Shall we start? Let's go! What's this? A kangaroo. Can you see what his tail helps him do? It's thick and strong. Can I guess? Even if I might be wrong. Can you guess? Yes. I can see when he sits that he keeps it on the ground, and he also keeps it down while he's hopping around. Then how does it seem to you that a tail helps the kangaroo? He sits on his tail. It's just like a seat. He almost seems to have three hind feet. And so you've discovered that this sort of a tail is useful for support. Now, what do you see in the branches of this tree, little girl? A squirrel. Do you think you can tell how he gets around so well? He uses his tail to help him go from one narrow branch to the branches below. He doesn't fall off, though I know he might, like a tightrope walker in the circus. Right, so in other words, what you're trying to say is the squirrel helps to keep his balance that way. Balance and support. Balance and support. Animals use tails for balance and support. What's this? A beaver. He's cutting down a tree for a dam. Are you thinking with me while he's cutting down the tree how he's using his tail? I am for balance. Balance. He's using his tail for balance. Here are birds. Hi, birds. A bird has a tail. We know. Is it furry? No. Is it leathery? No. Is it hairy? No, it's feathery. So, with a feathery tail and the help of his toes, what can he do wherever he goes? Balance, balance, balance and support. Animals use their tails for balance and support. It seems to me that it's easy to see that animals use their tails for balance and support. Animal tails, animal tails. So many uses for animal tails. What's this? That's a fish. Does a fish have a tail? Yes, a fish has a tail. It moves when he swims. It moves when he turns. It helps him stop. It helps him go. In other words, what you're trying to say is that animals move and steer that way. Move and steer. Move and steer. Tails help animals move and steer. Tadpole tails. How do they help? Move and steer. Alligator tails, how do they help? Move and steer. Porpoise tails, how do they help? Move and steer, move and steer. Animals use tails to move and steer. And can you see why tails help birds fly? Move and steer, move and steer. For balance and support.
to move and to steer. So many uses for animal tails. And here is another one for you. Monkeys in a zoo. A monkey has a tail. A long, long tail. Watch what they do with their tails. Watch how she holds with her tail. How can she hold on tight? With her tail. How can they swing left or right? With, With her tail. So in other words, what you're trying to say is that monkeys touch and hold that way. Touch and hold, touch and hold. Tails help animals touch and hold. Here are some animals. Do any of you know what these animals are called? I do. Seahorses. Seahorses. That's right. And see how the seahorses are holding on tight? What is this one holding on with? Its tail. So what do they use to hold on with? Their tails. Touch and hold, touch and hold. Tails help animals touch and hold. Balance and support. Move and steer. Touch and hold. These are the ways that we've been told. Ooh, that's an alligator. Hi there, alligator. Look what a big, strong tail it's got. Big and strong, thick and long. A tail can help an animal protect itself. Hi there, cow. Look at her now. Her tail is protecting her. Can't see how. Think very carefully. Think about flies. 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 Flies might tickle and flies might bite. A cow needs protection from flies. That's right. So how does she do it? With her tail, with her tail. A tail helps an animal protect itself. Flies on a cow and its tail goes swish. Flies on a horse and its tail goes swish. Swish. Goes the tail of an elephant, too. Swish. Swish. A tail helps an animal protect itself. Hi there, skunk. Look at its tail. That's a warning. Let's run or we'll be sunk. Skunks make a smell and they do it very well. And. If you don't stay and you do run away, the skunk feels safer. So what do you say? A tail helps an animal protect itself. Protect itself. Animal tails, animal tails. So many uses for animal tails. Balance and support. Move and steer. Touch and hold. Protect itself. Tails are useful things, I guess. Do you know of any other uses for them? Yes. What a happy dog. How do you know? His wagging tail tells me so. Here's a wagging tail. But that's a cat, and a cat is angry when his tail wags like that. A peacock's tail is important in his life. It helps him get himself a wife. The tail of a pheasant works that way, too. And that's also what the tail of a pigeon can do. Animal tails, animal tails. So many uses for animal tails. Balance and support. Animal tails. Move and steer. Animal tails. Touch and hold. Animal tails. And they help an animal protect itself. Animal tails. Animal tails. Tails and tails and tails and tails and animals!